guys, it's Jacob with another update for the Shader Soccer project um, for the hobby that's going on at the Hobby Game Dev subreddit right now. Um, as you can see, the major update this week is probably teams for both sides that are composed of multiple uh, lines of players. Um, as usual, the up and down and W and S keys control up and down movement for uh, the currently active line of players for each team and then the A and D and left and right arrow keys will let you switch um, the line of players that is currently active for each team. Uh, so as I to talk about the rest of the stuff um, I'm just gonna toggle the CPU AI for um, both teams. Um, anyway, uh, actually Implementing all of these uh, different lines of players ended up being more work than I initially anticipated, and it resulted in kind of a relatively large refactoring of pretty much the entire code base. Um, that was mainly just because I was finding it kind of hard to manage all of the connections between game objects and components via Unity's inspector. So I basically went to a more code-centric approach that where basically everything is set up and connected in uh, C-sharp scripts as opposed to trying to juggle everything via Unity's inspector, which I think helped a lot making that switch. Anyway, that's all for this week. Um, the next few weeks will probably be focused on sort of some different gameplay screens, which would be a nice opportunity to check out some of the new GUI features that are apparently in the just released Unity 4.6. That's all for now.